can you give some details about the Tapas? So Tapas is the unmanned aerial vehicle and which uh, our lab ADE has developed in collaborations with various laboratories, especially Deal, who has given the entire data link for this. Then IRD, who develops the electro-optics composed payload for it. LRD, who develops the radar, synthetic aperture radars. And DLRL, who develops the EW systems. So this is basically unmanned. It does not require a pilot. It can fly across to different places with a very high uh, altitude and the velocity. And it has a command and control over its complete electronics. So what exactly it does is when it flies onto the areas where we really want a reconnaissance, the kind of electro optics payloads we have got the very high range will be able to get the high definition videos. Synthetic aperture radar will be able to track all the objects around and it can do the radar imagery from the ground. Then we have got the EW system which works on the concept of jamming. So let's say any kind of a radiation which comes to this fellow to travel it up, it will be able to jam those radiations and it has got its plan for the self-protection suite which can protect our own aircraft as well. And all this data which is being composed inside the systems down links below with a very high, highly reliable communications links. We call it as a data link. When we talk about reliability, it's consistency of performance, it's data bandwidth because lots of video which are going to come for it and the range of its operation because this kind of a UAV goes to hundreds and hundreds of kilometers away. We should be able to still get uninterrupted data, the clear data of multi-sensors data together to our control systems so that we'll be able to process them, we'll be able to conclude more meaningful about the situational awareness. Future generations, these are going to be the systems who are going to go for non-contact warfare and they'll be an asset for us to protect our country for all our future attacks. Sir, we have seen it flying over Bangalore skies. How it is different from other uh, drones? So the, essentially, you will be very happy to know that this Aero India, the entire aerial coverage is being provided by UTAM I mean, for this purpose. And the difference out of this is the quality of the data, the capture of the data, the reliability of the data link, and the sensor capability. So today we are going to get such long distance, wide field of view, narrow pixels, and wonderful systems in electro optics, in radar systems. And soon we are going to integrate our EW systems. So so far as the sensors are concerned, they are very powerful. This is agile and it has got a maneuverability capability and you can get a nice data link down so that you get uninterrupted video for all your future processes. Sir, is there any country that is more interested in it? There are many countries who are interested in this particular this thing. Can you Discussions can... are going on. I may not be able to name a specific country, but they are all seeing this product. Very soon, this should be the wonderful opportunity for the export. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.